Do you agree or you disagree when they say Jacob Zuma stepped himself on the foot when he boycotted uh, the, the first sitting? Now, there is a story by Isande World that was released on the 21st of July, 2024. Um, okay, I, I don't see the, the name of the journalist there on, but uh, it just said that uh, it's by Sunday World, right? And then it says the 21st of July, 2024, which is today. As of me reading it here, it is from today. With that being said, it is very much noticeable, uh, or it's worth noting, they are talking about Jacob Zuma not being on the set, look, on the first sitting. They saying that that was a bad idea from Jacob Zuma. Well, I wouldn't know. When do you think it was a bad idea? Uh, I mean, you know, huh? Jacob Zuma was invited when they were debating the when they were debating the oh when look when not debating but when they were. When, well, when this guy, eh, President Ramaphosa, was delivering a speech and apparently Jacob Zuma did not show up, he was like, I cannot be addressed by this trade. That's at least according to a tweet uh, from Ududuzere Zuma, Sambunla. She was like, mm -mm, my father wouldn't be addressed by this trade. <laughs> he only came during the debate, not the look, not to be addressed by the, the traitor. So somebody would look at it and be like, ah, you shot yourself in the foot. But there's something as well that I want to talk about. Talk, Look, that I want us to talk about as far as that thing is concerned, Jacob Zuma att uh, look, attending these official gatherings, especially uh, uh, look, under the capacity. In fact, it's, you can't even take it away. He's always going to be the former president of the country, so he's a head, former head of state. He must be recognized. But if you have noticed, during the, um, during the, uh, look, the, uh, look, the debate, he was there. Did you notice that uh, it, 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 look, um, this person, eh, um, Spokesperson say, say MK party, he had to stand up and say, listen, you see that man there is a former head of state. You must recognize him because he's a former head of state. So it tells you that sometimes when Jacob Zuma doesn't attend these public gatherings when he's invited, I guess we saw it for what it is because if you are the head of state, whether you like it or not, you must be recognized. By the recognition, guys, it simply means that... Um, you know, when the head of state is there or former head of state is there, it's like, look, to recognize him is to say, uh, in the building we have former President Jacob Zuma. You know what I'm saying? That is to show respect to the man that we've got this man in the house. But uh, they did not do it. The current speaker did not do all of that. So somehow I, I got to see that, oh, that's the reason why Jacob Zuma doesn't attend these events. Because he's been invited in many of them and he will decline and he just doesn't show up. That is Jacob Zuma for you. So tell me in the comment section below what you think about it. While you are typing your comments, don't fuck, don't look. In fact, don't forget to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed all right now a sunday world you guys continue to say the following they said this they are saying um ubaba stepped himself in the foot so took him himself on the foot okay we get it they are saying, um, uh, Shah has been watching recent development in the in the kingdom of the Zulus as it relates to the, the local world of politics. So, you guys were not content with uh, relegating Umkonto Uesizwe to the opposition benches, but you went on to 
elect chairperson of the legislature portfolio committee without the involvement of Ikebu Ligababa. Okay? Shame, man. Now the poor soul are taking the legal route. Crying, uh, crying foul. But nani ma MK, ma MK Amase, it was, look, nani ma MK, ma MK Amase, was it a good idea? Was it a good strategy to boycott the sitting? I don't think so. Hey, agu hambanga ga se umkonto, umkonto wabakwaza. Umkonto wabakwaza. Umkonto awasaba, awasaba kwaza. Sorry guys. Awasaba kwaza. Yeah, something around like that. I think ube konduguti. Umkonto awasaba kwaza. So, first of all, they are saying that um, the, for them to boycott the first sitting was, was a very bad idea. That according to this um, article that I'm reading here. Don't don't come for me. It's not me. Sunday World. Give credit to Sunday World. So if you, <laughs> so if you wanna if you wanna crucify anybody, not me. Definitely not me. Because I'm not the author of this. Who's the author? None other than MK. And oh yeah, you know you're gonna MK part. None other than um, Sunday World. So guys, hey, there's something that the Sunday World is saying that makes me think. For Mkonto West season not to attend the first sitting, they are saying that was a miscarriage. Uh, miscarriage of justice, miscarriage of uh, miscarriage of, uh, of of things there. I don't know. Do you think it was a miscarriage? You know, one thing I, I have learned is that in politics, number one, there's no coincidence in politics. Uh, in politics, people are, people plan, take days planning, proper planning. You understand? That's why you will hear them crediting the people that were planning uh, the elections, because it takes time. You plan, you assess, you look at the threat. You know what I'm saying? You, you're looking at them, the, look, the, the, the place, good for you to add. You know what I'm saying? You're looking at things like that. So was it a bad idea? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I wish to say I know, but hmm, it's just one of those things that makes you think, was it a bad idea? No. Just, just saying, just saying out loud. Was it a bad idea? Maybe. These people have, have got a plan. After all, we are talking about Mkonto here. You're not talking about you're, you're talking about people who've got the reputation of planning, like people who are who, look whose leader has got the reputation of thinking, right? Um, I wouldn't say confidently that there's it doesn't do things that are afterthought, but I would say um he, he hardly react emotional to things. He he always show maturity in how he approaches things. He always shows signs of preparedness. So, was it a, a bad decision for them to boycott it? I don't think there's something to gain out of it. I just don't know yet because obviously I'm not a member of Mkonto Um I must tell you though, I must tell you that. But because hey, other people there think that I'm already a part of Mkonto Wesizwe. No, I happen to talk a lot about Mkonto Wesizwe, but I'm not a member of Mkonto Wesizwe. And I'm not even affiliated to any political party. No, let's just deviate a bit. Speaking about political party, do you think when you will freely join a political party? Freely, 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 freely. You know what I'm saying? That is because there was a time where uh, I saw people being getting killed. My sister was a serious member of Mkonto Wesizwe. I'm not sorry, ANC. Yo, staunch. So at some point, I remember, um, I remember, uh, I went to see her, right? So I arrived at Melmoth. Uh, I'm sitting there with my sister. Oh, in fact, before I can get there, and then somebody got stabbed. And then I'm looking at this life. That's when actually I started hating politics. You know, I will never forget the day I came out of a taxi from Melmo Town to, uh, I won't give you the straight area now. Mm -mm. But yeah, from Melmo Town, I dropped off from where it's supposed to drop me off. Just as I was walking, you know what I'm saying? Then I see this guy running with a knife full of blood and he had just killed a member of, was it a member of IFP or was it a member of ANC? And that's when I actually I started hating politics. It's only now that I'm, I'm feeling free to talk about politics because I saw people, I saw my sister the other time living in literal fear and I was like, I, uh -uh. you guys are living like the life like this and yet you are busy with this political thing of yours. Nah, 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 nah,
Not me. Me. <laughs> I was like, I. Not me. I. So that is where basically I, I developed my hate for political um, involvement. 